Well, election day. Now just under two months away and absentee ballots are starting to be mailed out across the state of Kentucky. More people are voting absentee this year than in years past. It's been a transition for county clerk's offices in both Kentucky and Indiana, but they are working hard to get you your ballot as we've been discovering. Rose McBride is telling us what you can expect if you're choosing to vote by mail. In Kentucky, you can request an absentee ballot online or by calling your county clerk's office. In Indiana, you have to send in your application by mail, which you can get by either calling your clerk's office or finding it online. Clerk's office have already been flooded with absentee ballot requests. The ladies in the Floyd County Clerk's Office are working hard. We have a system to make sure you get your absentee ballot. They all kind of pretty much have assigned jobs that they do throughout the day. As of Monday morning, the Clerk's Office has received 5,379 requests for ballots and started sending them out September 16th. And there are still more than a month until the election. In 2016, I believe it was 675 absentee ballots in total. <laughs> if you want to vote by mail in Indiana, your application has to be received by your county clerk's office by October 22nd. In Kentucky, that date is October 9th. The Jefferson County Clerk's Office has received more than 125,000 requests for absentee ballots already. People were able to go to the portal early. Our ballots weren't even printed to about the 19th of September. Ballots just started going out last week. So if you haven't received your ballot yet, don't worry, it's coming. They are just now getting put in the envelopes and being sent out. The best way to ensure your ballot is where it needs to be, when it needs to be there, is to be proactive. Please fill it out and turn it in back to the mail as soon as you can so there's plenty of time to get it. For WHS 11 News, I'm Rose McBride. Jefferson County Clerk Bobby Holsclaw sent in a request to the Kentucky Secretary of State Michael Adams for more in-person voting locations in the county, which now could total up to 20 different locations. Her original plan called for eight polling locations for the election. Adams tweeted Saturday he was pleased to see the expansion plan from Holsclaw and that they are reviewing it quickly for a decision soon. Early voting is set to start October 13th and run through November 2nd, but those locations also have yet to be determined.